In this video, we'll be discussing quadratic parabolas. If we look at this equation, it's y is equal to x squared. y is also equal to f of x. And f of x is equal to x squared. So just make sure that you understand that y and f of x are one and the same thing. So this means that when you have x there at the top, and you have f of x, we will fill in a table as follows. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. For minus 3, when we square it out, minus 3 times minus 3 makes 9. The same for minus 2 goes 4, minus 1 makes 1, 0 makes 0, 1 makes 1, 2 makes 4, and 3 makes 9. We now have a set of coordinates to plot. So all we had to do was substitute the x value into this equation. We draw our set of axes as follows. And we start plotting our points. So as you can see, we've got x being minus 3 and 9. So we can put minus 3, 9. We then have the reset, other set of points that we've got from minus 2. So let's start with minus 2. So you go minus 2 to the left and 4 up. As we've done over here, we've placed the point. We do so for all the other points. So we do minus 1 and 1 up. We do 0, 0, which is at the origin. We then do 1 across and 1 up. We do 2 across and 4 up. And we now have five points plotted. We then connect the points in the shape of a parabola. As you can see, it's a smiley face. It means it's a positive parabola. We'll get further into this later on in these videos. Let's discuss the domain. Now the domain is all of the x values. As you can see, the x values range from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So if we had to continue drawing the points along this parabola, we could easily say it's minus infinity all the way to infinity. Never use square brackets, always use round brackets. As you can see, I've written this here, can never use square brackets. Square brackets means that you're including a value and you can never include infinity as it's infinite. Let's talk about the range. The range is everything in the y-axis. So as, as you can see, we start at 0 and we move positively upwards. So we can say as y is an element of all real numbers, y is always going to be greater or equal to 0. You can also write it as 0 tends to positive infinity. You can put a square bracket around zero and a round bracket around positive infinity. Let's talk about the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry runs right through the middle of this particular parabola and that happens to be x is equal to naught. Let's draw that line. Basically this means that you can flip your equation either side and it will be equal to what you have on the left, you'll have on the right. This makes a line of symmetry. So let's solve for x when f of x is equal to 6 and a quarter. This is the same as saying 25 over 4. So let's do this. f of x is equal to x squared. Now if we put on the left hand side we say 25 over 4. Or on the right hand side as I've done here. You can see that you can take the square root of both sides. So you'll take the square root of x squared. gives you x. There we have the square root of x squared. The square root of 25 and the square root of 4. The square root of x squared is x. So let's rewrite this nice and neatly. We have 5 squared with a square root sign, because 5 squared is 25. 2 squared is 4, and we put our square root sign on top. 
Let's move further. We now take the square root of x squared, that gives you x, and the square root of 5 squared is the same as saying 5 squared times a half. Same goes for 2 squared times a half, as that's the square root of 2 squared. We now have x is equal to 5 over 2, because the 2 and a half and times by a half cancels out for the top and for the bottom. So 2 times a half makes 1 on the 5, and then 2 times a half makes 1 on the 2. Please take serious note of this. The square root of x squared is equal to plus or minus x. Because if I take minus 2 and I square it, I get 4. And the same goes for if I square 2, I also get 4. So your answer is always going to be plus or minus x in this case. Very, very important to remember that, especially with parabolas.